वेलकम टू फ्लटर टीचर इन लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज आई एम कंटिन्यूस टॉकिंग अबाउट लीस्ट सेट वेरियस मेथड्स ऑफ लीस्ट एंड मेथड्स ऑफ सेट दिस वीडियो इज बेसिकली ए कंपेरिजन बिटवीन लीस्ट एंड द सेट सो इफ यू गाइज डोंट हैव एनी आइडिया बुड सेट एंड द लीस्ट आई रिकमेंड टू गो एंड वॉच माई वीडियोज वेर आई हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट लीस्ट एंड सेट इन डिटेल्स बट फॉर दोज हु अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सेट एंड द लीस्ट एंड दोज हु वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंसिस बिटवीन द लीस्ट एंड सेट so without wasting time let's get started in this video i will talk about eight different factors based on which list and set can be compared so let's start from the first factor that is the order of element in case of list the original order of your elements is preserved that is it is actually the ordered collection of items the order in which you are adding the element your original order is preserved in case of list however in case of set it is actually the unordered collection of items it means your original order of adding the element is no longer to preserved the second point is in case of list it's possible to allow as many duplicate element as you want but in case of set duplicate elements are not allowed even if you are trying to add the duplicate element your operation of adding the element is simply ignored in case of list it's possible to access individual element by using index that is by specifying a square bracket inside that we can pass the index and we can access the element we can even modify the element using that specific index but in case of set we don't have that index based access for individual elements however we can use the method called get element add but it is not actually a proper way of accessing the element using index because set don't have the actual order using which the elements are indexed in case of list it's possible to modify the value of element that is we can modify the value of specific element or we can modify the value at specific index in the list but in case of set once you have added the value to set it's not possible to modify the value of that specific element or value at that specific index both the list and set supports the property called length but in case of list it's possible to modify the value of length so if you increase the value of length it will hold those many null values and if you decrease the value of length your specific element will be removed from the list however in case of sets you cannot modify the value of length if you try it you will get a compile time error in case of list we have the support to perform sorting shuffling and reversing of the element however in case of set such a methods or such a support is not at all available using our own logic we can perform the sorting we can perform the reversal even we can shuffle the element by default support is not available in case of set when it's time to convert your values into the map in case of list we have a method called as map that converts your all list values into the map where each element is having key in the form of index and the value is actually the value of list element but in case of set there is no support to convert your values to map however we can do it by using your own logic but no ready made support is available and the last point is in case of lists it's possible to add as many null values as you want but in case of set you cannot add multiple null values you can add at most one null value in the set that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really like the way i'm explaining the concept then don't forget to like my videos share my videos subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos